All right, let's talk about the computing environment that we're going to be using for this semester. Uh, in particular, we have a custom Jupyter Hub setup that is built on top of the Nautilus distributed supercomputer system that uh, is exists nationwide. Uh, what's nice about this particular configuration is that all of the key packages are already installed. If we find that we need something later on, we can uh, install those uh, on the fly. Uh, in addition, all of the code and data that you'll be needing uh, for the course of the semester will be available inside of your Jupyter Lab instances. You, of course, are free to configure your own uh, machine to uh, to use uh, Jupyter Lab, uh, or you can use Colab if you wish. Uh, you'll just have to make sure to copy the data and code uh, from your Jupyter Lab instance. Access to our Jupyter Hub is uh, through this URL. There's a link uh, from the uh, main course syllabus uh, to this as well. Uh, when you uh, access this uh, particular URL, uh, it will ask you for an authentication source. It'll talk about CI login. Uh, what you will do is select University of Oklahoma. And uh, once you once you do that, it will take you to the OU single sign-on page. And uh, at that point, you can enter your OU credentials. Once you're authenticated, it, the system will present you with uh, a couple of different stacks that you can begin executing. You want to uh, use the scikit-learn stack. Uh, once you've selected this, uh, you, you will actually have a virtual machine instance created for you. This is going to be allocated on Nautilus. Uh, this can take a little bit of time to, to happen. Uh, so do be patient with that. So sometimes it'll take 10 or 15 seconds to fire up that virtual machine. Other times it will take 30 seconds or a minute or two. Uh, if you're on an unstable network, this can be problematic. Uh, and if you're seeing uh, a number of errors uh, around not being able to start the virtual machine, then uh, take a look at your network configuration or get onto a different network. Uh, this instance, once it fires up, is a proper virtual machine. It is allocated for your use only, and it has a variety of resources. So, so all of the code and data that you'll need will be there, and there's also private storage for you to use. Uh, the storage space by default is maxes out at five gigabytes. Uh, it is also persistent storage. Uh, so what that means is that if you shut down your virtual machine and then later start it up again, you'll still have all of your uh, code uh, there. Uh, but do make sure you're saving uh, your notebooks as you're editing them. The Once you start up the virtual machine, it will continue to uh, be active as, as long as uh, as long as you're using it. Uh, however, if you if you uh, walk away from it for uh, a long period of time, then the machine will get terminated automatically. Um, but that said, once you're done with a virtual machine, you should make sure that you're explicitly shutting it down. And the reason we do this is because this is a shared resource with lots of other people who need access to it. So uh, once you're done, release it, let somebody else make use of those resources. You're of course free to set up your own Jupyter Lab setup. Uh, you can do this on, on your own machine. I recommend at least three Python 3.10. 3 uh, and to start with, you'll need scikit-learn, NumPy, Pandas, and Jupyter Lab. Uh, Jupyter Notebook is also out there, but uh, Jupyter Lab is uh, certainly a nicer environment and it mimics what we are actually using with our, our uh, Jupyter Hub setup. Uh, if you need help with this, uh, just get on Slack and, and ask questions. Um, but I should say that this is not necessarily a, a trivial process to get all of that up and running. Uh, over the course of the semester, there are lots of videos uh, that you'll be uh, looking at. Um, these have been created over the last a few years. Uh, and the videos often will refer to some of our 
our prior year's uh, Jupyter setups. So you'll see references to ML server or on demand or uh, to Colab. Uh, it's safe to uh, mentally substitute our Jup Jupyter Hub setup uh, for, for those. So if you see those, just, just ignore those. All right, next up, let's uh, do a demonstration. <laughs> 